What's up everybody, Johnny over at Witchcraft Whips. Today I thought we were gonna have a look at how to tell what plat count your whip is. Maybe you have a whip and you forgot or you're not sure what plat count it is. I'm gonna show you a few simple ways to find out. But first, if you're unfamiliar, what is a plat count? Uh, the word plat is uh, Australian, much like the techniques and materials, kangaroo, used in whip making, and plat rhymes with hat. And it refers to the outer layer of braiding, also known as the overlay. Uh, your whip will most likely have a belly, if not two, and those uh, bellies also have a plat count, like four plat or an eight plat. But the plat count of a whip refers to the overlay. So if you, for whatever reason, made a whip with a 24 plat belly and an 8 plat overlay, it would still be considered an 8 plat whip. Now the way platting works is that you have one set of strands going in one direction and one set of strands going the other direction and they are interwoven, which creates different patterns, such as a checkerboard or single diamond handle, and this is the regular herringbone or the whip maker's plat. And normally the plat counts are numbers dividable by four. So four plat, eight plat, 12 plat, 16 plat, 20 plat, 24 plat, etc. Those are normally favored when it comes to plaiting or braiding. And what you want to do when you want to figure out the plat count of a whip is to look as close to the handle as possible. Because when braiding, most likely uh, the whip maker will be dropping strands. And where that happens depends on how you taper your strands and the taper of the whip, etc. So generally you want to be looking in this area right here, preferably on the handle. But if that's not possible, for whatever reason, really close to the handle. If you were looking down here maybe, uh, you would, might come to the conclusion that your whip is a template, which is possible, but uh, not very common. So, we're gonna have a look at a few different whips and see what plat counts they are. Now right here, for example, is a nice little black and aqua snake whip. And um, this is an, probably the easiest way to see what plat count a whip is. In this case, we have the blue or the aqua, uh, which is a contrasting color. And you have one set of strands going one way and another set of strands going the other way. So on a whip like this, when you have a pattern that sort of repeats, you could simply count the strands in between the blue ones in this case. So you have, let's count the blue one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're back to the blue one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means that I have eight strands going in that direction and also eight strands going the other direction, which makes this a 16 plat whip. Another way to look at it, if uh, your whip has a checkerboard handle like these ones have, and this first section right here is also checkerboard, is to count the diamonds around the whip. So let's say, let's take this blue one right here. We're gonna count the diamonds around the checkerboard until we come back. And we don't wanna go in a zigzag pattern. We're gonna, we're gonna wanna go this one, that one, the next one, etc. So let's count the blue one first. That's one, sorry, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, whoops, 
6, 7, and 8. And then we're back to the blue one again. Which means we have 8 diamonds going around. Again, the conclusion I can draw from that is that we have 8 strands going in one direction, or on one side, and 8 strands on the other side. Again, making it a 16 plat whip. Now, let's take a look at this one. This right here is a 4 foot saddle tan whip. And uh, we could count the diamonds, but I'm going to show you another way. Uh, and that is to look at the overs and unders of the herringbone plat. Now, hopefully you can see. Let's look at this strand right here. It goes, it comes out right here, and it goes over one strand right here, two and three before it disappears underneath this one so it goes over three and then it goes under one two three before it emerges right here again so it's under three over three which means that there are six strands going in that direction because it goes under three strands and then over three strands, making it six on each side. So, this whip is a 12 plat whip. Just to confirm, let's count the diamonds. And I'm gonna start with this diamond right here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're back our starting diamond. Again, six strands on each side, making it this a 12 plat whip. Uh, and looking at the overs and unders uh, works very well for lower plat whips, uh, like an 8 plat, 12 plat, 16 plat might work. But if you're looking at a 24 plat whip or something like that, it might be really difficult to tell how many strands it is going over and where it emerges from the other strands. So I would just, if possible, count the uh, diamonds around the handle. If it has a under one, over one handle. And this whip is uh, a really old hatband bull whip. So let's have a look. Looking at this strand right here. It goes over two strands, this one, and then it goes under two strands, over two, under two, which means that there are four strands on each side, making this an eight plat. And finally, here's a little snapper by Paul Nolan. Now. I can tell just by looking at it straight away that this is a 4 plat whip, but let's check just to make sure. In this case we have uh, quite wide strands, and let's count the diamonds. We've got one diamond, two, and then we're back. So that means that there are two strands on each side, making it a 4 plat whip. If you're unfamiliar with uh, plaiting and plat count and stuff like that, I do hope that some of these tips were helpful and hopefully you'll be able to tell what plat count almost any whip is. Thank you very much.